Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 12th of a Python basic series for beginners and in this video we'll see that what is the difference between procedure oriented programming and object oriented programming. So before understanding the difference between them first of all let's understand that what these two terms actually are. So these two terms are types of programming paradigm now what is programming paradigm or paradigm i don't know what that pronunciation is so programming paradigm are are the way in which you write the program like in oops we focus on the data more we consider the data as our prime focus and then we create the program in procedure oriented programming we consider the function or the procedure as our main orientation in in logical we consider the logic and so on and so forth basically the programming paradigm means the way of writing a program okay now this is not that hard as it looks as we move ahead you will be more comfortable with this term okay so now there are many programming paradigm but these two are very popular so we are taking these two in this video if you are interested in understanding these paradigm also you can just comment down below and if i see enough comments maybe i'll create a video on these also okay so let's move ahead first of all let's discuss the procedure oriented programming so what is procedure oriented programming in procedure oriented programming we consider the procedure or the function as our prime focus so this is a point a to point b programming paradigm now i usually use this programming paradigm only to create my project now let's take a very simple example let's say that you are using an api let's say the weather api you are making the request to the api extracting the data doing something on the gui and then simply presenting the output so you are going from point a to point b you are focusing more on the procedure rather on the data so this is what procedure oriented programming actually is it is very simple so this is why i consider this uh, for my videos and and yeah this is what actually you need to understand for this video because i'll be creating a separate video for procedure oriented programming in which we'll discuss all the features of procedure oriented programming like modularity predefined functions scoping libraries and etc etc we'll consider all of them in that video this video is specifically for you to have some idea of what is the difference between these two programming paradigm okay so let's move ahead to object oriented programming now if pop was focusing on the function or the process object oriented programming focuses on the data so now let me try to explain you that how this works so in object oriented programming we have a class a class is a blueprint or a template and we also have the objects which are the instance of the class okay so now i know this is getting a bit tricky so let me try to draw something here so that it becomes much clearer okay so we have class first i know i'm having a terrible handwriting so we have the class which is simply the blueprint uh, the blueprint of how a thing should be now let's take a example let's say that we have a class dog right we have a class uh, a class dog uh, which have some functions like legs so a dog has four legs and it has like a tail function or bark function so these are the functions inside this dog class right then we have the objects now i love labradors okay so uh okay so this is labrador so labrador will follow 
this blueprint right it is a dog so obviously it will have four legs it will have a tail and it will bark so this object is an instance of this class this was the simplest method that i can think of explaining this complex term because oops is quite complex and as we move ahead we will try to break this into simpler terms now once again i'll create a separate video discussing the uh, features of object oriented programming like inheritance encapsulation polymorphism and so on and so forth okay so yep this was a short video in which i have tried to explain you the basics of these two programming paradigm this was not at all a detailed video as you can see this was just an attempt to get you started with these two concept i know there will be confusion but as we move ahead in this playlist we'll sort the things out okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye